again because I already put out a video today. But, oh, that thumb feels so good. Anyway, I'm going to get ready to do some painting, do some work. Check it out. This is a couple of my paintings. Not really. Great. Here, if I'm going to go and brag about the crap, I might as well show it to you. Huh? If it comes out, that one is one of my more abstract ones. And that glows in the dark, so that's kind of cool. I'm working on that. Mixing some paints, fluorescence, but that's not what this is about. <sighs> I love this one. <clears throat> Anyway, shut. <laughs> My production values for shit. Okay, let's just work with this. Uh, I know, I know. I need to shave. I look old, but I am old. I just when I don't when I do shave, I look adorably younger. Like ten years, maybe. You know? That's not what I want to talk about. I'm just tired still. Still waking up. You know, my own boss. So I had to motivate myself to paint today, so that's important. So yeah, but I was thinking to myself about platforms, about like YouTube and Facebook and all these, you know, that really obviously the people that own it are liberal, the people that run it are liberal, the people that, you know, all the employees are pretty much lockstep, drinking a bunch, but you know, God bless them. Everybody has to have an idea and a thought, but at the same time, they're it's homogenous. It's it's boring. You're boring. I'm sorry, liberals. You're boring. You can't just control thought. You can't just control the conversation because you don't like where it's going. I've had to talk to people at parties all the time, and they're just assholes. And you're just like, and you just go with it because you're like dealing with the you know it's a party. You don't want to go. Out. Cause a scene, so you just let it go, right? But you don't sit there and say, Well, that person don't ever invite them to a party again. It's like if they if you tell them, Look, that person was just, I don't know, you can choose not to invite a person to a party, but to purposely try to, to block people from you know being able to participate in the conversation, censorship is just bullshit, flat out, it's wrong. And, I, you know, in the whole conservative aspect or the liberal aspect, I don't give a shit about either one. Personally, I'm, I'm neither. I'm for. I'm the emperor of the universe. I have to embrace everybody. I have to love everybody. Even the, nut, nut, you know, the knuckleheads. And they're out there on both sides. Every side. Every color. There's knuckleheads of every color. Every race. Every creed. Even animals can be knuckleheads. I don't know. They can be assholes. But... So it's not just one particular color or race, by the way. When you start thinking like that, then you're a, then you're a racist. God bless you. You need to you need Jesus. You need somebody. You need the universe. You need to pray, meditate, and love yourself and love others. And hopefully that those negative thoughts will go away. <clears throat> but it was funny because I joined Parlor for a minute, for a hot minute. Just because I was curious to see, because I was tired of first off, it was when I was, you know, Facebook was doing hard censorship. You couldn't, yeah. I had like almost 5,000 friends. And I always thought it was weird. Why can you only have only 5,000 Facebook if you have like a billion followers that you're claiming, but you only limit people to five, you know, 5,000? MySpace wasn't that, you know, intrusive. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could have as many friends as I want on that one. It was pretty cool. I miss MySpace do it was cool a lot of artists there anyway but i went on parlor and it was an echo chamber just like all the other places are now that are just shutting down voices that they don't agree with it's an echo chamber you're boring i don't want to go to parlor i quit i quit going there like i went there for like a month and was like yeah whatever it was just all the same people cheering each other on and it's like it's boring you have to have dissent you have to have competition you have to have thoughts that vary you can't yeah, everybody. It's like it's like that Dr. Seuss book when everybody had the stars on their chest, whatever. That, you know what I'm talking about. And then the other ones didn't, so they were separate. And then they ones, then some guy shows up with the machine that can get rid of the stars or create. No, actually, he would create stars, and so everybody had a star. And then the ones that had the stars didn't want them anymore. Yeah, it's like, come on now. Let's just all get along and 
say what we want to say as long as we're not hurting anybody or hurting children we should be able to babble and do what we want right it's you know it's freedom that's the kind of idea anyway but so yeah when people start new platforms and stuff god bless but it's just it's gonna it's you know homogenous it's gonna be boring so try to think of variety try to think of think of spice and differences that's what makes it that's why i'm so awesome because i'm a blend different 